Hey, how are you? Well, how are you? Good, thank you. All in? Uh, let's pop my hat back there. Nice. Phuket, Jai. Seeing as everything I just recorded was with the microphone turned off. Good well, start. <laughs> welcome to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> we are absolutely exhausted because we got up at about 5 a.m. Mm. or maybe even earlier because as always we left packing, tidying, doing laundry and changing the bedding to this morning. We're going to Thailand by the way. Yes. And now all of a sudden it's like 10 a.m. and extreme tiredness has hit us now that we can calm down a bit. <laughs> what are your expectations with flying business class on Jetstar? Yeah, not much. Not, so, not, not big expectations. So, so Jetstar is like a, a budget airline. If you're in Europe, it's probably similar to EasyJet. Um, like if you can get flights for like 20 bucks but they do have a business class option and we're flying business class to Thailand from Sydney and the ticket price was the same as flying regular with any other airline I guarantee you this is not a proper business class seat well yeah I'm not sure I think we need to start counting my, my streak again. Because <laughs> there was a time when I got 13 times in a row, or 14 times in a row, that I got searched by customs, remember? Yeah, I know. And, and now it's started again. And every single time it's like the random check. I just was on pause and they stop you. <laughs> I know. And the thing is, every time they go, Sir, quick random check, do you know why this is happening? I always reply, yes, because I'm brown. And they, they give me such an evil look. And I'm like, well, it is true. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, so today we're going to Thailand. We're off on a little bit of a tropical getaway because we've realized we haven't been anywhere in like tropics or summer vibes since midway through last year. It's been so long. Every trip we keep going on has been like Paris and it's been really, really cold. So we're off to go get some warmth. So Pia is currently boycotting me because I want to get a McDonald's and she says it's obviously unhealthy. <laughs> but you have to check out, this McDonald's is insane. Look at this. You can order your McDonald's on the iPad and pay here. And then the food gets made up there and it comes down this chute. Are you jealous of my food? No, not at all. That is pretty cool, the tracks. I know. you're not a fan but that is pretty cool that's really cool yeah I like watching the motorized contraption <laughs> I just find it funny that your food goes on a journey like before it gets to you yeah and it's like they're so clockwork like everything runs like a proper robot that is it's um, like there's no difference between them assembling a car or making <laughs> you a burger that's kind of cool though I mean a burger doesn't really need a person to to make it for you it can be made by a, a robot <laughs> This is how it starts. I know, this is the beginning of the end, you watch. <laughs> so the first thing I think we need to test now is if we can get in the business lounge. Because these flights were cheap. I think it's doubtful. I don't want to be turned away from the business, that's, that's, that's so embarrassing. embarrassing. <laughs> but maybe it's part of like Sky Team or One World or something. Yeah, we need to go ask. But should we just Google it rather than ask someone? What do I Google? I mean if I Google Jetstar Business, it will probably tell me what lounges they're associated with, if any. Just say Jetstar Business Lounge Sydney Airport. Sydney Airport, alright. Jetstar says it is partners with Qantas, which is the nice one up there. Well, let's go! Qantas Club and Jetstar Partner Lounges are a great place to relax. <laughs> yes, they are! I don't think this, is, this can't work. I wish I'd have known we could get in the lounge because the food in here is really good. I know. I wouldn't have had a McDonald's. Would you like to go in first? Not really. I'll just wait out the front, see what they say. Maybe we should do a review video 
epic Jetstar business class review. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you how the seats go slightly back. <laughs> well, I don't know. Apparently, according to Google, this flight from Sydney to Thailand, we should be on a Dreamliner. Or was it an A380 or a Dreamliner? Oh, was it this flight? But if oh, that, this could be working out well for us. That's a big plane. I don't know, we'll have to see. We have a question. We are flying with Jetstar on business. Does that enable us to get into any lounges in this, in this airport? Unless you purchase the business lounge access. Okay, no worries. I mean, I didn't expect that to work. When you buy your tickets with Jetstar, you can then specify that you also want to get access to the lounge, which I think probably costs another bit of money. I find that crazy. It's like an hour of your day just to go and sit in a different section and you have to like pay extra for it. Like yeah, but the food's free and oh, it's yeah, free fair alcohol. Enough, fair enough, fair enough. It's kind of worth it. Right, so that was good. With business, you get to go through the through the gate first, which is kind of kind of cool, I guess. So the thing to bear in mind here: these tickets cost the same price as economy on Virgin. So I think that's we need to look at this whole thing with that in mind. Yeah, I guess. Would you rather fly economy on a airline or business on a budget airline? Yeah, that's that's what it should be. That's the way you've got to view it yeah. because. So far, I've enjoyed not having to stand in line to check in yeah. and not having to stand in line to get on the plane. Yes. For and the I same suspect, price. Yeah, and I suspect the seats will be slightly bigger. I think they'll be a bit bigger, but I don't think they'll be like lay like flat or anything, yeah. no. But still, I think it's going to be great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. D&E. D&E, just like him. Cool, thanks. All right, so when I get on a plane, I need kind of like two things. I need a USB charger, and ideally a plug point so I can edit on the plane. And it looks like there's both, so this is great. We're good. See, I would rather fly business on a budget airline than economy on a better airline. This is great. We've got bigger seats. Yeah, that's your screen. Amazing, thank you so much. You're welcome. Anything for you, man? Can I have a juice, please? Um, let me show you around the cabin. So this is the cabin. Looks like there's a lot of room. We're actually row one, which is a bit annoying because you don't get like a TV in front of you. You get a TV down here. But I never watch movies on a plane anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but that's how much room we've got in the front, look. Woo! And then down here, we've got power, USB, and a little remote thingy. All in all, I'm super impressed actually. This here, this is the menu and we have the three choices for you to pick from here. Yes. And the drink is on the other side. Fantastic. I'm re I've never been so happy to spend so little money <laughs> on such good service. I think you had such low expectations that you're now like stoked. Normally <laughs> they I... They hand you a menu and you're like, yes. No, normally this is the, like, the worst airline you can travel on. But I think I've probably made vlogs that have said don't fly a Jetstar before. So I apologise to... <laughs> I apologise to Jetstar if I have. Because this is alright. It's good. Everywhere we go now we're flying. Jetstar is good. 15 recycled plastic bottles transformed into fine thread woven into a soft blanket. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's recycled. That's really good. Mm. All right, so what's in the kit? In the kit, let's have a look. Okay, so we've got some like little skincare, a lip balm, and a little hand moisturizer. Right. Earplugs. Sockies. Yeah. Sleep mask, toothbrush. Nice, I like to keep those. Pen! This is so handy, we always forget pens. I know, and it's you always need a pen to write on that little immigration, immigration card. card. Yeah. And that's it. What are you looking at? Like where the, how, oh hello. Oh, check it. And then you bring that out so you can bring your legs forward. 
we actually did just have our appetizers and we forgot to vlog it, but <laughs> yeah. that was good too. Yeah. So it looks like we've got like tomatoes, olives, spinach and parmesan gnocchi, which I'm really excited about because I'm so hungry. <laughs> this movie experience is like every other airline. I don't think you can really, you can't really improve on this sort of thing. I know. I gotta mention though, the selection is really quite small. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's very different to like most other airlines. <laughs> Click uh, award winners. Oh wow, one, <laughs> one <Yeah>. movie. <laughs> My food was, I would give it an eight. Yeah, I would too. It was good. And it really hit the spot because I was starving. Thank you. <laughs> so we've made it to Thailand. And on the immigration form that we filled out when we got here, it asks for our visa application number. And neither of us filled out a visa application. I think I'm exempt because I'm from the UK. I don't think Pierre is. Aww. So. I totally forgot to even look up. Like, I know. I need a visa. I know. It like completely slipped my mind. And this is the same problem we had last time when we were in um, Vietnam. Yeah. So to round off our review, how do you think that? Jetstar business was. It was good. It exceeded my expectations. Yeah. So with the exception of lay flat beds, mm. it was good. It was, it was actually like the nicest service that we've had at, in an airplane in a long time. I think Thai, lovely. Thai people are exceptionally polite as well. Yeah. I think that goes a long way. Agreed. <laughs> My no. camera's steaming up. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of regret dressing like this. This is so hot. Thanks very much. Amazing, thank you so much. Okay, so it is about 20 to 10 at night. We've got one hour to drive and then we're at the hotel. I think now would be a good time to end the vlog. Yeah. Because we'll see. I don't want to reveal where we're staying until the sun is shining <laughs> yeah and we're so sleepy <laughs> we'll see you guys in the morning bye <laughs>